Right, I've got a problem. I need to get this, which is a single core 300 mil. And now, although it's got, not got no armor on it or anything, it is very, very stiff to bend. So this is how I'm going to solve it. I need to bend it into this back part of the trunking and then bend it down into the hole that we've we've made. Now, due to the absence of Eddie Hall or Tom Stoltman being able to come and help me with this, I'm going to have to use a more practical method of bending the cable. So this is what I come up with to get that first one in. So firstly, I actually just bent the cable the best I could into that bend. So we'll give that a go now. But what I can't do is I can't hold, hold that there, hold this up here, put a hand there and bend this down. I'm not an octopus man! So, what I've come up with is this. I've got the trusty ratchet strap, I've tied a piece of rope round one end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this onto the cable. It's going to fall a little bit. Using a clove hitch, which if you if you're doing anything with cables, learn that knot. Right, there we go. Now take the other end and tie it. What I've got to judge <clears throat> is where I want the bend to bend down. So sort of start the bend there, so I'm gonna put my tie on the other end, about there. And then we tie this around here. Again, using the clove hitch. Right, what have I got? Not a lot. I can't shorten that. I can't really shorten. Can I make that a little bit longer? I'll go to there. Now I need to make sure that this is in the right plane because it's no good bending it. Sort of, there, it's there and I want it to go straight down. But if I've got it in the wrong plane, it's moved like that, it will bend sort of this way and then it won't, it won't fit. So it's got to come straight down the trunk and straight into this trunk and, and bend straight at the ninth. So, let's tighten it up. There we go, that's its maximum. Now what I'm going to do is lift it forward out of the trunk in the best that I can and now this is holding what I wanted to hold, I can bend this bit down against this. So this then becomes sort of a fulcrum, a turning point. And again, I am going to overextend, over accentuate the bend, but when it goes back in, it'll be okay. But I need it to set. Now there's no, obviously, there's no way I could have done that, holding it, and I haven't got enough hands, I haven't got, I haven't got enough body, I haven't got enough limbs with opposable thumbs to be able to do that, to facilitate me in bending the cable. So remove all of this. Right there. This is now to be sort of lifted up like that and dropped in. Trying not to get rid of that too much. Right, 
and there we go so that needs obviously that needs pushing back I can adjust this ever so slightly by bending it out in sort of like lifting it here but I put the tie wraps through because what I've got is I've got some flexors coming through this hole so they come from that switch down they turn here and then they run through this trunking as well so I need those cables to be as far back as possible to allow me access to that hole but that is how you solve problems like that the easy way not the hard way um, what I will do is I'll do a little tutorial as well to uh, link to, to, to the knot because it's a non-slip knot and it's, it's a really good knot to know if you're working with cables or pipes or anything like that or anything cylindrical it grabs all of them pretty well so thanks very much for watching see you in a bit nearly forgot little thumbs up